I gotta be honest with you guys, this trail has been killer so far. Um, it's like walking, nonstop walking on a uh, ice cap. It's crunch, crunch, crunch. Hey guys, Trail Beaner here, back with another adventure. I was able to slip away uh, out of work today and rushed over here to the Allegheny uh, National Forest and doing a two night um, backpacking trip through the uh, Tracy Ridge trail system. I was watching a couple of videos and it looked like a pretty well marked trail, which is kind of nice in the winter time because uh, it's easy to lose your, your trail uh, when it's snow covered. Um, this time of the year so it just looked nice and it, it hooks up with the NCT the uh, North Country Trail somewhere along the way so I look forward to getting on that too sometime this weekend no I'm racing against the time here uh, Sun will be going down in about approximately an hour and a half so let me hit the trail get on the um, trail here go find my place to camp for the night and I may be setting up in the dark tonight who knows but uh, that's all fun uh, that's all part of the fun of being out here. So thanks for hanging out. It's all ready, guys, for coming along. Okay, so I'm here at number 18 on the um, on the map. I plan on going from here somewhere along this area and camping, camping, uh, setting up camp for the night. So I got a little ways to go still. Not sure what I'm going to do the rest of the weekend, but for now, my goal is to go to from here to somewhere in this area along the uh, Allegheny Reservoir. All right, guys, let's hit the trail and uh, let's get the show on the road. Here I am on the NCT already. There's a signage, blue blazes, right there, right there. So I'm going to take a look at a map, make sure I'm heading in the right direction, and uh, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. First views of a uh, handsome lake. Pretty neat. I know you guys may think, man, that looks low. Well, it really is. <laughs> it's a reservoir, so what happens is they drain it in the wintertime to prevent erosion uh, on, the sides, on the sides here. At least that's what I read. So there's a system to uh, the madness <laughs> of why they reduce the water levels this time of the year. But I imagine this would be very, very beautiful in the summer. I know there's campgrounds all the way around, around this place. So, you know, it might be a, a very touristy area during the warmer months, but um, you know what? I'll take it either way, winter, summer, all. <laughs> and a beautiful trail so far, a lot of hemlock. Uh, groves I've been walking through. Now I'm going through a whole different section of forest here. Very well blazed. Uh, the NCT volunteers really did a awesome job of, you know, labeling everything or marking every single spot where you could potentially get lost. So no complaints. All right, let's keep going. Starting to get, get nice views of the uh, mountain ranges. It's always beautiful to see that, guys. I'm always blown back by that. Beautiful. I'm gonna sweat a little bit here. I'm gonna have to take a break and uh, reevaluate re my uh, layering system. Sitting at about 38 degrees right now. So, um, yeah, let me take a quick break, shed some layers, and uh, continue on. Sundown is uh, catching up with me real quick. <laughs> Still racing the, uh, the sun. Really think it's gonna win. <laughs> but uh, it's nice out here in this trail. You know, it's somewhat muddy right now. Some, some spots icy for sure, like you see this bridge. Holy moly. Uh, it's really slippery. Okay, there we go. But it's beautiful. Beautiful time of the year to be out here. Wow. Check that out. Awesome, guys. Let's keep going. 
going here. It's a very well marked trail. Um, as you can see, the pin, the little guy right there, lets you know exactly where you're at. I believe this is uh, seven. And um, the plan is to go from there up to six, hopefully make it up to eight and nine, somewhere around that area. I would like to camp somewhere around there. Um, if not, I don't know, let's see how far I can push it up towards 10, huh? See what time allows. Uh, even if I have to set up at night, I think I, I'm pretty good as far as uh, lighting and all that. Just enjoying this quiet forest. I'm the only noisy thing out here. Beautiful. This trail has been killer so far. Um, it's like walking, nonstop walking on a uh, ice cap. It's crunch, 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 and it's just ice. Um, it's been a little tough. I didn't bring any micro spikes or, uh, or tracks for my uh, boots. I didn't think I would need them uh, over here. <laughs> but, um, you know, that's live and learn, I guess. But um, just gonna keep trekking. T took a breather to breathe and drink some water, stay hydrated. Um, it is nearing sundown. Um, I'm estimating maybe half hour left. So let me keep going. Um, <laughs> this, this trail just reminds me of uh, when we hiked the uh, West Rim Trail. Um, I'll put a link up above uh, to that hike. It was awesome though. And you know, this hike is awesome, but it's kicking my butt guys. Uh, let's get on the way and let's make it to camp. I made it to camp guys. But as you can see, without my headlamp, it's pretty much pitch black, almost. But we made it enough time where I was able to spot out some nice trees here. And, um, well, let me go ahead and set up. I'm gonna set up my uh, Dream Hammocks Raven. And uh, we'll see what we uh, would do on the uh, dinner front. But it was a nice hike. Set it up a little bit pitched low it's a little breeze coming off this ridge that I uh, I'm on you'll be able to see it a lot more in the morning uh, there's my ULA ohm 2o love that thing and uh, well we'll see how tonight goes should be nice lows supposed to be uh, 31 right around there but good times good time so far it's only, <laughs> it's only six o'clock. It feels like it's been dark forever. <laughs> but um, have some dinner and a little treat maybe. I uh, brought my chair. Love this thing in the winter. I love it on most backpacking trips now. It's uh, right around a pound and it's worth it to me. So I'm going to boil some water, get my food hydrating there and my... DIY Ooh, pick that up my DIY cozy here for uh, helping in dehydration or rehydration process um, taking on multiple trips no issues it doesn't leak I have to make some more if anyone's interested <laughs> just give me a give me a shout uh, they work very well so all right check in with you guys in a little bit after I've had my food, my snacks, and uh, maybe I'll listen to an audiobook. Yeah, that sounds good. Well, it's dinner time. Heating up some uh, water there. Today I have some new thing I found here. It's like shells with uh, five cheese and spinach. Spinach is in there somewhere in that little packet. I have to empty it out still, but um found it at local grocery store not not too bad we'll, we'll have to see how it tastes um it's the end of the night for me had a good dinner did some camp chores cleaned up hung my food um just got warm you know i'm in my hammock now it's uh 28 degrees last time i checked so 
it's getting down there, you know. Um, I'm comfortable inside uh, my hammock here. I've got a over cover I'm trying out, top cover. Um, I've never used one before. We'll see how we do with uh, condensation and such. I have a little fleece um, cut out that I'm going to try to use as a, uh, you know, moisture trap. So we're just part of exploring and having fun trying new techniques, you know. <laughs> so um, it's about 8... 15 820 something like that i'm gonna catch a audiobook and um call it a night i did i mean i came here after work so i'm a little pooped um but uh it was a good hike actually you know uh, i did look up the um my mile data tracker on uh, my gaia app and it said i walked a total of five point five point six miles it said and uh you know, it's not that the distance from where I parked to here is not 5.6 miles. But to be honest, <laughs> I did get a little lost on the NCT trail. Got a little uh, turned out of uh, out of uh, the heading I should have been going. Ended up, I don't know, going out of my way for, for quite a bit before I realized, you know, oh man, you know, I'm totally heading the wrong way. So... They ate up my time, and that's why I ended up having set up in the dark. But it's all good. Had a good dinner. Had a good snack. About to, uh, you know, just call it a night. Time to get comfy, settle in, and peace out. Trail beaner out. What a night it was. Uh, it got down to the low 20s. Um, I slept very warm. It was very nice in my uh, my hammock there. Had a little bit of condensation on my over uh, hammock top co uh, top cover, but uh, nothing significant. I mean, it should be dry within a couple minutes here. But man, what a beautiful area to wake up it is. Um, let me show you around. It's almost surreal, you know. The f you'll see. Let me just show you. You know, I knew coming uh, to the Tracy Ridge uh, hiking trail here that it wasn't, uh, you know, it didn't have the grand vistas or anything like that, but man, the views like this, I'm just as happy, it's beautiful. What a great place to wake up and to uh, have some breakfast, get some chores going, pack up, and hit the trail. Um, my plan is to do about seven, seven and a half miles today. I want to end up higher. Well, right now I'm in the uh, Handsome Lake area. I want to end up in the Allegheny Reservoir area, further up on the uh, NCT. But um, yeah, it should be a good time. Uh, man, let me get back to more of these views. Time to let the old beer bag down. I'm glad nothing decided to mess with it. <laughs> they would have had a fun time doing so. Again, one of my favorite techniques to hang a bear bag is right over a little precipice, like so. So even if something or an animal is trying to lean over to grab it, it doesn't seem too high, and it is, and it's only like, I don't know, seven, eight feet, but <clears throat> seven, eight feet from here to here, but they have to lean over, and don't think they uh, will have fun doing that. <laughs> but um, man, take a look around, guys. Wowza. Hey guys, so as you can see, uh, I'm already pretty much packed up. You know, not, not much left to do, but um, enjoying my cup of coffee this morning. Oh, what a wonderful view it is. This lake is nice. It really is. And, uh, you know, I've got a woodpecker up the hill there going at it. <laughs> it's kind of funny to listen to him. But, um, you know, the, all these noises out here, the, the nature sounds. And I uh, had a pack of coyotes or something going at it yesterday, last night. Um, about 2, 2 o'clock, they woke me up. And it's, it's, it's nice, you know. I know some people find it scary out in the woods by themselves. But, 
you know, it is what it is. They're more animals are more scared of us humans than we are of them, or we should be. But well, you know, respect f towards them is uh, something very important. But um, no reason not to uh, do this. You know, if you uh, have a fear, you do it one time, you get over it, do it again. It's just you know, it becomes uh, something that you will enjoy. Let me tell you. Um, so yeah, let me uh, go ahead and finish my cup of coffee. I have uh, chocolate peanut butter pop tarts today man those things are awesome um sound like a sponsor for them but uh, i really am not please don't go buy them that means there are more left for me <laughs> but uh all right thanks for hanging out guys we're just gonna warm up from the inside out now and uh get the show on the road you know? good stuff right there like i mentioned Chocolate peanut butter pop tarts. Oh yeah. Great, great stuff. Mm. Great views. Man. Don't let me interrupt your breakfast. You're not interrupting mine. This is beautiful. camp seems a whole lot different than uh, last night let me tell you <laughs> it's nice to have daylight and uh, be able to see the trail a lot clear this is beautiful a lot of down trees leading to uh, the camp at uh, point nine on the map as you can see but nothing too crazy got to go over or under some of them but not a bad deal. Last night though, it was a little tricky. Let me tell you, a little tricky. But let me see, going under, over, it's all good. Ice filled up already. Now we're heading back into the snow trails, icy capped trails. I'll, uh, I'll show you the map here in a little bit of what I plan to do. And again, we're just winging this trip. No plan is set in stone. Just want to get out and enjoy a backpacking trip in the middle of the winter. <laughs> Why not, right? Okay, so let me show you what happened yesterday. <laughs> I know I mentioned it already, but let me show you. Oh, by the way. Thanks, Bill Murray. You're awesome too. <laughs> so I started out at 18. Walked this way on the North Country, North Country Trail up to 6. At 6, I don't know what I did wrong. Well, I know I took the wrong turn. That's what I did. But um, I started walking on down this way. I must have been somewhere in this section when I uh, my beaner sense, you know, like Spidey sense, <laughs> went off. And I looked at the map again and uh wrong way i didn't want to go down here i wanted to end up somewhere here at eight or nine so i had a backtrack backtrack here made up to eight camped out at nine right around here somewhere along the lake so that added to my time in uh hiking yesterday and that's why i ended up setting up in the dark so today the plan is to go up to 10, up to 17. Um, actually, I want to go from 16 to 15, to 13, to 12, and uh, up to 11. My plan is to camp somewhere between 11 and 10, uh, which is over here, and 10 tonight. Somewhere in, in, along the uh, 
um, Allegheny Reservoir. What's the plan guys? Thanks for coming along. Here's another look at the woods that I'm in right now. Snow covered, frost covered, ice covered. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful weather right now. It's just hit 32, so it's warming up. Woo! And uh, let's get this show on the road. Let's go. Can't buy this kind of view. <laughs> and I'm here hiking it. Awesome. NCT does a very, very good job, guys, of uh, blazing this trail. Every turn, like this one coming up, let me show you. Not only do you have the um, change in direction blaze, but then up further, see a little arrow up there? It's exactly where you're supposed to turn. Right there, and from view, perfectly placed right there. No problem with uh, staying on trail here. Beautiful time, beautiful weather. It's 32 like I said, and I'm sweating. Go figure, right? So I'm going to be shedding a, another layer here shortly. Thanks for coming along, guys. Got this little campsite. Huh. It's nice. There you go, guys. If you're ever near number ten marker on the uh, on the map, got a nice ring. Little inlet for the reservoir. And behind me, I hear some water rushing. It'd be a good uh, water source for you. All right. Okay, here's a sign. Here's the beginning of the Johnny Cake Trail, if you're going the direction I'm heading in, or heading into the North Country Trail, which is where I just came from. So now I'm going to switch over from blue blazes over to white blazes because that is the direction I, uh, I'm heading. <laughs> Looks like I'm going to have a water crossing here. Hmm. Although I am wearing my uh, seal skin socks, I really don't want to get my shoes wet, retain some heat. By the way, those seal skin socks guys will work miracles. I'll put a link up so you guys can follow. Um, another video I made where I tested them. So let me just look around a little bit more, find a way to cross, and uh, continue. Okay, so here I am on this trail. See that tree right there? The way it fell? And how it's precariously held up right there oh mama that thing is uh, a burp away from killing a brother so let me hold <laughs> let me hurry up and get past it here Whew. actually I just added some drama just make it past quickly be all right <laughs> nice nice Johnny uh, Johnny Cake trail so far. It's muddy. Real muddy. Not a lot of ice. But from my, what I've seen is it's it has several camping uh, sites along it, along these creeks. It's really nice.
Uh, we made it. Made it to uh, marker 17. So, so far we've come from 9, 17. My uh, plan is to hike up to somewhere around here and have lunch. Then hike out and uh, camp somewhere along the uh, reservoir right there. That's the plan. Doing good time. It's only like 11.45 right now. So I should stop for a quick uh, break. Um, not hungry yet, but did want a little snack. So I picked a pack of these up. Hopefully it focuses on it. Good stuff. Chocolate covered blueberries. You know, sweetened. High in calories, which is nice on the trail. Um, high in protein. Three grams. Pretty good. Fiber. Uh, so, you know, pretty good for a little snack. I uh, just wanted to show you in case you're thinking about something, you know, that's not <laughs> um, your usual for the trail. So, good stuff. Let me uh, finish eating these, drink some water, hit the trail. So for lunch, let me show you what I'm having. Some Jif to go. Some barbecue honey tuna. Some rice and beans with hot sauce tuna. Some pepper jack cheese. We load it into a tortilla. Tell you what, delicious. Don't judge me, it's good. Try it. <laughs> All right, let me uh, get hydrated, uh, take in some calories, and uh, we'll hit the trail again. All right, what a nice lunch that was. Heading out now. Uh, this is right up top of the ridge here. You know, this trail doesn't have that much elevation gain or loss, but the uphills are just long, <laughs> just very long. So you feel it on your legs. Um, Especially when you're fighting the snow and ice. But other than that, um, sections up top of the ridge are nice, smooth, not much uh, up or down, which is very nice. Just enjoy the views up here. I don't know if you could see where I'm at. Top of the ridge here. Right along the edge. Beautiful. Hey guys, so I'm on this section of uh, tr the trail from 12 to 11. I don't know if you can make it out in this video, but mama, it's very, t very technical. <laughs> trail reminds me of the rock trail at the Dali Sods. Um, I'm referring to the amount of rocks just sticking out of the ground through the trail. I mean, it's, it's a uh, sprain waiting to happen, and it's only made worse by slippery leaves <laughs> and snow. But, you know, just take your time. You'll be all right. If you're ever this way, just be prepared for a very bumpy hike. All right. Making good time. Gonna make it past 11. Um, get as close as I can to number 10. Set up camp and it should be a good night. Just so glad I got out this weekend. I'm doing a lot of thinking, a lot of nature viewing, a lot of relaxing. Had it all. All right, thanks for coming along, guys. This section of the trail, it has a lot of steep downhill. I don't know if you can see from where I'm at. This is straight 
and this is how straight down <laughs> this trail runs um, you know I've been suffering for the last couple of years um, just bad technique as far as going down um, down hills while hiking um, I started keeping after doing some research I started keeping my feet straight as possible um, you know as soon as you start twisting your your feet that uh, there's certain sections of your your you know your muscles and and your uh, joints that are going to start hurting more and more because you're you know you're twisting and you're putting all that weight your weight plus the pack um, a plat pack weight on that uh, that portion of uh, of the joint so what I've been doing like I said is keeping my feet as straight as possible trying to steady myself slow myself down with my trekking poles and uh, bending my knees while going down um, sections you know it it's gonna take a little bit of exercise prior to hiking to be to be able to do that because you're using um, other other muscles that you normally don't use I'm not saying I'm, I'm in best shape possible but I'm in good enough shape to be able to bend my knees and use my um, my thigh muscles and you know more more as far as uh, going downhill so I'm not putting all that strain on my on my knees and uh, that that's that's helped me uh, I haven't had to take Motrin as much <laughs> uh, to uh, be able to uh, do this and I uh, just wanted to pass that bit of knowledge on to you guys maybe that'll help someone um, let's get this trail back on track here looks beautiful guys All right, guys, made it to number 11. That's where the pin is at. So to recap what I did today, I went from number nine to 10, up to 17, up to 16. Then I actually went from 16 up to 13. I had lunch at this point right there. Um, I know it has a scenic or panoramic symbol on it. And it is nice. I mean, you can make the red, uh, you're at the top of the ridge and you can make out the uh, lake and uh, the reservoir but there's a lot of tree coverage and in the summer I highly doubt that you'd be able to see anything but uh, to, you know since there's no leaves and, or foliage I was able to get some pretty decent views so I then went out with 13 14 up to 12 and all the way to 11 so I plan on getting as far as I can to 10 depending on time setting up camp and tomorrow plan on doing this or this <laughs> that's to uh, be seen but uh, all right guys thanks for hanging out so far this has been one nice trip on to 10 all right awesome guys one thing to uh, keep in mind if you're heading this way is that the trails that I did today up to this point were very limited on water <clears throat> you're at the top of the ridge there wasn't even a single stream up there so keep that in mind in the summer months especially if I probably could get in trouble if you don't plan it <laughs> Or if you can't hike out, we're down to the reservoir. But down here, as long as you can get down there, pretty steep embankments, um, you could get some water. Plus, streams flow down, right? So eventually you'll run into something. But just keep that in mind. Little tidbit of info. the uh, section here on the NCT from 11 to 10 is these big stones that are on both sides of the trail they're all long it's pretty cool you're walking in between these huge stones gives you nice views check it out they're all over the place as long as one doesn't roll down on me 
<laughs> I'm loving them. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get back on the trail. Not much sunlight left. See how much further I can get and uh, let's set up for the night. I made it all the way back to uh, the campground I left this morning. Yeah, it's such a nice area. I just pushed it and uh, made it all the way back to the Handsome Lake um, campground area. It's beautiful. I mean, uh, yesterday I camped over there behind me. I don't know if you can see over there. Today I am on this side of the, uh, it's like an in water inlet. But uh, man, it's, it's nice on this side. It's got benches picnic uh, benches and tables I'll be able to use and there's even a latrine over there somewhere but uh you know <laughs> I'd rather just dig a hole and uh, do my business but it's gonna be a real tight race again I'm gonna set up it's pretty much dark <laughs> it's 4 30 ish and uh, I just had to make it all the way down here again it was nice so uh, Put some miles in today, you know, it was up and down, slush. I even took a nice, nice swipe and slid about four feet on my, uh, four or five feet on my buttocks. Luckily, nothing happened to my bag and my pack survived. So <laughs> that's always a plus. But let me get, uh, you know, ready, set up camp and maybe cook some dinner in a little bit. Just uh, give me some time. I'll be right back. back at making dinner in the dark <laughs> boiling some water I'm gonna have some dirty rice with some pepperoni um, tonight as you can see it's pitch black nothing you can see really I'm actually moving the camera just in case you're wondering but I'm just gonna watch some water boil I hear some coyotes in the background some active, active time for them so let's just kick back and listen to them listen to this water boiling I'm actually beat got some good miles I'll, I'll, uh, I'll let you know later on how uh, how much how many how many miles I packed in today it was a good hike good hike a lot of nice scenery a lot of woods mud you name it, we had it, but it was beautiful, no complaints. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out so far, and uh, it's going to be a early night for me. <laughs> I can feel it already. Just eat, clean up, you know, normal chores, and uh, probably hit the sack, listen to an audiobook, and just chill in a hammock. That's what it's about, right? Just relax out here. It's nice. All right. Talk to you guys in a bit. Guys, it's about 7, 7.15 in the morning. And um, all night, I've been um, enjoying the sound of rain on the tarp. I don't know. Maybe you can hear it from there. But guess what? I got to get up. And I'm going to get up in, uh, in rain. Pack up in rain and hike out in rain. It looks like, doesn't look like there's any chance of it clearing, but, um, we can only hope, right? <laughs> the trails are this morning. I imagine they'll be a little bit bunny, huh? What do you think? <laughs> but uh, it should be a good time. All right, guys. We'll keep you posted as our progress goes along and uh, our hike out this morning. We're on our hike out. Packed up. Ready to roll. <laughs> It's nice, nice area this is. I'm on a little whew, slippery footbridge now. Making it out of uh, 
camp. I see a kayaking trip in, a, in, in the works here. That's a nice place. You could probably pull up, camp, and uh, kayak some more during the day. It's awesome. The conditions of the trail. Super slush, uh, slippery today. Not slushy. It's not even. Everything's melted now. But it's slippery and it keeps raining on and off. So we're gonna wake up, make our, make our way out, enjoy the rest of this trip, and uh, maybe a burger on the way home. Sounds delicious. Right. Thanks for hanging out so far, guys. We'll let you know how it goes. Anyone know what that is? Leave me a message. <laughs> Looks pretty cool. Definitely not in use anymore, but I like running into those old uh, things like that. So just thought I'd ask, see if someone knows. Crossing another creek. Cool times. So beautiful. We made it total of 19.5 miles this weekend um, it was awesome excellent excellent trip the rain had me a little rush this morning it's it was on and off on the hike out but uh, it was still very nice out of here still foggy which is kind of adds to a little bit of the allure for, for me I like the fog but um thanks for coming along guys it was an excellent relaxing thought-provoking trip a lot to uh, learn from as far as uh, winter camping you know, uh, it's always an adventure. Never stop learning and and uh, trying new things out, which is, I don't know, exciting to me. But um, hopefully you got something out of this video, some tips, maybe some information if you're planning a trip out here. Uh, Tracy Ridge, very nice trail, a very nice reservoir if you, uh, if you enjoy that kind of stuff. <laughs> um, but see you on the next one, guys. Trail Beaner, out.